Before a convoluted story, perks, pack-a-punch, or even quotes, COD Zombies was a virus. This virus infected Treyarch during the crunch period. Through sheer luck, Nazi Zombies was added into Call of Duty World at War, as an easter egg for completing the campaign. This secret game mode evolved into something bigger than anyone would have anticipated. The definitive third game mode for Call of Duty. But I'm getting ahead of myself. As you see those running figures, you're welcome to Nocturne and Toten, the birthplace and first zombies map. <laughs> Defining feature of this map is isolation and dread. The ambience, the muddy textures, lighting, and limited supplies, and gameplay loop make this map the perfect blueprint to what the core of zombies is and should be. I made my friend play with no warning or experience in FPSs and they echo these sentiments. The dread of survival, knowing you will die eventually, your futile efforts against the dying of the light all make Nocturne Toten memorable. It's probably why Noct is remade so many times. Oh, that was, oh hey. That was way too close. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> the bunker is from the campaign mission Hard Landing. Treyarch repurposed the building and added a whole new vibe, saving time and money and development costs. The reuse of assets aren't a big deal because there is nothing in the game that feels or looks like this. Nox's layout consists of three rooms, a magic box, and wall slash cabinet weapons. With how future maps grow and expand, this feels like a breath of fresh air. Just a simple survival map with the bare minimum to survive. A perfect bland experience that can be expanded on, like rice. As the first map, there will be rough edges and flaws. In Noct, zombies have to stop to hit you. This isn't a flaw in my opinion, because this provides players a way to warm up, learn, and practice more advanced techniques like training. Training zombies is a term for having the zombies follow you in a path, usually a circle, to help control the chaos of their behavior. Other terms are kiting and blank trains. OG zombie players know what I mean. With how limited your supplies are, the guns slowly become less effective, which is great for the impeding dread and atmosphere, but as a consequence, going for high round attempts are a chore for more experience in the mode and maps. In the first few rounds, zombies are really slow coming to the bunker, which for unexperienced players, like my friend, makes the map scary because they don't know where the zombies will come first. More experienced players, however, will find it a drag. And for a final nitpick, and this is a World at War problem, but zombie AI in collision is wonky. Black hole knifing, stuttering, collision issues when zombies are above you or too close to you, and minor audio issues pop up in this version of the game engine specifically. But to be fair, this was a passion project with no time in the oven and no real budget or planning for more. The barebones nature of Noct makes this map a perfect training ground for you as a zombies player and a great first step. You don't need a tab open to YouTube for any easter eggs or quest steps. It's simple, easy fun that you can play with anyone. Is Nocturne Toten perfect? No. Can you still feel the magic and passion behind it? Oh, definitely. It doesn't have a quarter of the content or depth compared to modern maps, but it's easy arcade horror. There's plenty of versions for you to play with better engines and a wider selection of powerful guns, so you're free to choose whichever one you're comfortable with. Honestly, the original is my favorite version, but BO3 has a fantastic version that is easily accessible. As you grow bored of this map, you will ask yourself about the next one. Well, this was a proof of concept. The bedrock foundation of a mode. Everything after is growth. Viruses evolve, after all. How will this one change? <laughs>